Hey everybody, this is Game Freak 1024. Welcome back to more Let's Play Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. <clears throat> First up, I'm going to mention you guys may very well recognize, especially those of you that have watched my previous videos, especially like my 150cc video specifically for the Wish of Course stuff so far, that the vibrancy of the color of my video looks a lot better now. I swear the settings are exactly the same as they were before, I don't know, but I ended up setting it back to default, kind of, and then setting it back to where I think they were, which was the same, and now the colors look good. I went off of someone else's video for freaking good Elgato settings, and I swear the settings are the same as they were before, maybe not, but regardless, my videos will look a lot better in Vibrance Color now, plus the brightness isn't going to be is bad. But the brightness is much better too. I use GBA Snowland as a test. <clears throat> but anyway, here's my link combo for the first uh, cup of Mira mode. And I did looking off screen and the varmint, even though it was like, I'll get into something in a second, but the varmint is apparently the, has the exact same stats as the pipe frame. If I'm correct on this, Nintendo, why does the varmint have the exact same stats as the pipe frame, but does it change colors depending on the character or the color of the character? Freaking sometimes, like different like, like, examples like the Yoshi's. Why does it not change colors when it ha with the character like the pipe frame does when it has the exact same stats as the pipe frame? That is so dumb. Is the varmint is literally the freaking bike version of the pipe frame. Anyway, <clears throat> Rest of the wild link, varmint, ancient tires, parry lighter. <clears throat> Starting with moon cup. At DSP Gardens, I've done a mirror mode in the past in both Mario Kart DS and Wii and Rainbow Road. I've done a mirror mode in Mario Kart 7. Mary, Mary Mountain and Burland of Railways obviously haven't before because those are both new tracks to me. Anyway, let's go. Also, I need to keep my hands off the controller. I need to let the intro play. Seeing the mirror mode intros for the first time ever before actually seeing the normal ones is not mirror mode <clears throat> for wave three. Yeah. And the vibrance, the color, contrast, brightness, way better than ever been on my previous videos. The only other thing would be the most recent Pokemon Violet I did prior to this video. At the time of my recording, not when you guys get to see it. It will. It'll be a while before you guys see this video. Thank you, wipe Yoshi out, then get hit by another vehicle. Of course I used the mushroom because I was afraid the other one's gonna hit me, and of course the freaking notification thing or w warning or whatever I had behind me for the red shield was for someone the red shield was lock on to someone behind me, so I wasted the mushroom but oh well. How long before a boo item or a freaking lightning? Me having good defense. That 
that was extremely close. And here comes the stupid red shell, or blue shell, I mean. Sigh. Freaking whomp. Now I don't have any protection for a red shell. Because I missed the item block because of that dang thing. And there's the red shell. At least I didn't slow down because of the lightning. Now the interesting thing when it comes to that that I will get into once I uh, finish this first cup. I'll also go over it in my uh, Let's Fill In Slim Perfect video for Wave 3 DLC because if you guys most likely will, most, will most likely see that X amount of months before seeing the mirror mo or this mirror mode video. Oh, I didn't read off the characters. Oh, well. Oh, also, controller down so I don't skip ahead. <laughs> Interesting to plug and play this course backwards on the third lap in mirror mode. <laughs> Frick. I'm going to go for a whole line of that green shell. Damn you fools. Freaking make me not get any items. Oh. Nope. I do not want that blue shell. Give me that. Crap, no. Coin item. Oh no, a sound horn. Oh, already. Of course the boot seals it from me. That's a bunch of crap. Freaking game trolling you with a sound horn when the boot is gonna steal it from me. And what sucks is if I held the bomb, I would have freaking still had the thing. But how was I to know who was gonna come in? Game freaking trolled me. Controller down to read the characters. Wendy, Pinko, Peach, Yoshi, Larry, Waluigi, Toadette, Baby Rosalina. Oh, I forgot about the change after the first race. Okay, fine. Wendy, Pinko, Peach, Yoshi, Larry, Waluigi, Toadette, Baby Rosalina, Koopa Troopa, Baby Peach, Baby Daisy, Wario. <clears throat> Now it's time for Mary Monarch, as I like to call it, freaking Boring Ice Outpost 2.0. Again, there's a lot of 
things that are visually aesthetic about the force. It's got a decent soundtrack from it. I want to say, I think it's the weakest of the three tour tracks of Wave 3 on soundtrack. But in terms of what you're racing on, it's not significantly more interesting than I say South Pole stories on. Definitely not quite as boring as I said South Pole for sure. But as far as I'm concerned, Sky High Sunday and it's kind of just an oval track. It's more, quite a bit more interesting. Quite a bit more interesting this, than this course is to race on. Um, I would even almost say aesthetically, despite all the nice Christmas and snow and house and candy cane and Christmas tree things in this course. Also, no coins! Yay! Freaking coin. Okay, good. Give me the coins game. Thank you. I could be wrong, but I want to say this course might be the best of the three course, uh, three tour tracks for the time I'm going to have to deal for doing the 150cc and 200cc staff was beating them off screen for my final 150cc and 200cc videos for the three, wave 3 of DLC. I almost guarantee you guys will have already had access to those. I've already made those videos public. The 150cc, 200cc videos where I actually show off all my times being staff goes. Those will be available to you guys months before you guys see this video. Nice try with Lama. You're a horrible shot or you weren't close enough to me. One of the two. I am incredible two horses out of three that I've raced. I know the least out of any horses I've ever raced in my entire history, and I have not made a wrong right or left turn yet because of mirror mode. Of course, I didn't beat Yard since I played it so much, primarily because of Mario Kart Wii, secondarily because of Mario Kart DS. <clears throat> Now it's time for what is the most gorgeous course in the series. Also, I think I might have freaking unintentionally without realizing because I didn't put the controller down or say something to myself out loud. Freaking accidentally skipped the Merry Mountain intro, so I will go to versus to show that off after. I would like to see a course in freaking the 2023 waves top this horse for how gorgeous this thing looks. The remix is good, but I, I almost think, I could be wrong, maybe I'm wrong on what I think right now, but I almost think I want to say the Mario Kart 7 version of the soundtrack would be better. I will say this, I think, if I'm correct, the um, remix that was this part of the Rainbow Road soundtrack of the Rainbow Road medley of the freaking handheld Mario Kart Rainbow Road soundtracks from Smash 3DS and Wii U is definitely better. That score of the soundtrack from that, re of that medley in Smash 3DS and Wii U that was also an ultimate is better than this version. Again, the remix is fine, but I want to see the original is better. Kind of like freaking outside of the black, white, black, two, white, two, and black, two, white, two, or the black, white, and then the black, two, white, two, um, remix is a Cynthia's theme. Black, two, white, two, before we World Tournament specifically, um, other than those, all the versions of Cynthia's soundtrack or theme through Gen 4 Champion music. Like, those two remixes, Gen 5 remixes are better, but the other Cynthia soundtracks 
out of all the other Cynthia's on Terry's outside of the Ten Five remixes, the best music for Cynthia is the original, even BDSP's version doesn't need it. Get out, Peach, I need to win. Please! Wait a minute. No, I think I was thinking of the first one. I think it gave me Rock High Mountain twice so far for my cups for a frickin' Rock Cup. Rainbow Roll, please! Mary Mountain. I think I got this previously. I don't remember. Yes, I know I did. I remember now. I think I got it in 50 CC. I think I have Merlin Bioways for a hundred. Got three more opportunities from what I haven't recorded yet. Cause I've got 200 CC to get the other two horses. For this cup that I just did, as well, the two opportunities I have for my Let's Fill and Slim Kirby's Let's Play video for Wave 3. Now let's go to Versus! Yeah, the first time I failed to show on Mary Mountain's intro because I skipped it. No, but I apologize, oh well, also I have to specifically go to Mirror. Briefly, this is what the freaking thing looks like for your... Custom items, I'm just gonna leave it alone. Carry him out and control her down. Oh, and speaking of that, let's fill in Slim Kirby. Uh, let's speaking of that, let's fill in Slim Kirby's Let's Play video. I will be recording that right after this mirror mode video. Okay, so first I'm going to show this off. And in the Slim Ruby video, I will clip that off from that and have that be its own video so you guys can see it before even the uh, Let's Fall and Slim Kirby's Let's Play video. But anyway, here this is. I was just doing some test, test races off screen when I was doing my adjusting and making sure and testing for the... I was mentioning... Through my Auto software, I adjusted the settings for colors and brightness and stuff. I did a race, a hot tub cruise, and this is the thing that happened. You know, I'm just gonna flip it for this video, so I ain't gotta freaking save this crap again over in this little video, honestly, you know, when I think of it. Well, by clip, I mean I will use my editing software to have this be its own short video. But yeah, I got struck by lightning there and it didn't stop me. I wondered if that, and I kind of figured, but didn't know for sure, was that an update, or change made in the update that brought us Wave 3 in the custom item settings, the additional custom item settings, or whatever you want to call it, or freaking come along with what, Wave 3, whatever. Apologies for my kind of possibly crappy or awkward explaining of that. Oh, also, um, I'm gonna read something as soon as I get this combo. City Tripper, Crimson Slim, and Regular Glider. Okay, so anyway, let this sit here for a second. And 
make yourself kind of sound like Crooked Rick Jake US either. This comes from NintendoLife.com. I've already discussed, so I'll read and then continue with the video. But anyway. <laughs> um. For one very unusual, and I don't understand why they did this change they made in the update that brought with Wave 3 of the Boost Cards Pass DLC, is they got rid of recommended in tournaments. I don't understand why they did that when they've had it, I want to say, ever since the game came out on Wii U, but whatever with that random disclusion, Nintendo. When a user cannot download any new ghost data, they cannot delete all the ghost data they downloaded until then. What? Oh, okay, I get that now. The period of invincibility after spinning or crashing now changes depending on the driver or machine parts. Interesting. Now here's the main thing though from that clip I showed off. When getting stuck by lightning while gliding through the air, the glider no longer closes, so you keep going. So, something that should have been updated years ago, it's been over eight nine, uh, years, going on nine years now, possibly over nine by the time you guys see this video. When you are doing something like that cloud type cruise glider section, you get hit by lightning, you get two for it, AKA, or rather, you, at, uh, not AK, uh, that's abbreviation for acronym for also known as, but anyway. Uh, apologies for awkward time and very awkward short video for all this crap, but anyway. All these years where, and I, I want to say it was probably the case of Mark R7 as well, considering that and introduced the gliders. If you get hit by lightning, you. Not only lose coins getting hit by the lightning, you also get lose three more coins to or less your coins if you have less than three coins to Likichu as he charges coins for picking you up. And now they just change it. Like again, it's an appreciated change, but why did Nintendo not make that change over half a decade ago? Either with Market Adelux specifically or in the Wii U version. But whatever. Well, and then ever, I guess, I don't know, but anyway, for, let me see. And then here's other interesting fix issues <laughs> with the update. Fix an issue where coins would not be added when touching an opponent's crazy coin. That's interesting. Fix an issue when there's a communication error when using the blue item. I almost guarantee that caused quite a few, uh, not a, if not a lot of communication errors for using the boo item, and this is the lost version specifically, the boo item was not in the Wii U version of the game. But yeah, I wonder how many times people got communication errors because of not boo, either they got a boo item and used it, or a boo item stole something from them, an item from them. There's an issue where the super horn would not hit more than one opponent at the same time. There's an issue where images in SNES Mars 33 would look distorted. Now here's something I think actually had happened to me. Fixed an issue where a player could not acquire multiple items in a row in GBA Snowland. I want to say I had that happen to me in one of my freaking videos. May have been a 150cc video, but I remember that happening. And I think it had to have been Snowland, because I don't know it would have been anywhere else. <clears throat> Fix an issue where points would not be added to a member list when spectating an online match. Fix an issue when selecting a team. The common characters that actually play in the game are not the same as shown on the selection screen. Fix an issue where the warning sign was not playing when the red shell or spiny shell comes from behind. That blue sh spiny shell is the blue shell. Other adjustments and corrections were made to improve the game's experience. Anyway, this will finally be it for like the freaking what five seven plus long minute freaking video that I wanted to have a ball because of the whole lightning thing that happened when I was doing testing testing off screen. But anyway, that's it for that video. I draw that time to finally get into this.
want to make sure I got Mirror Mold like I'm supposed to have. Yeah, I definitely don't want to go over all that stuff again in the Slim Kirby fill-on video, ain't no way. <laughs> what was I thinking? Yeah, this is good, good at a real good soundtrack as well. The the out of the three tour tracks in this wave of DLC, I can now say for certain after hearing this one again, Mary Mountain definitely has the absolute weakest of the three soundtracks. This one's good and got good guitar and that freaking one or uh, Berlin Bios may very well have the best tour track in the game soundtrack in the game, other than maybe Ninja Hydel. Person opened my door, brought my shoes in. They didn't do anything. They were nice and quiet. They didn't start on me or something like because what I was expecting in my mind. I was like, oh hey, person in here. I didn't know it. it's like all of a sudden my brain made my freaking heart start racing super fast. And I, was, I was like, oh hey, I wasn't trying. I was trying to be careful and quiet. And I was like, no, it's like it was like that was weird. And it was like, oh, the cat did it. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't, that, that's what the person who came here said. It's like, oh, I'm sorry, the cat did it. <laughs> Let's see here. We'll put my coin item in the first, second, or no coin item. Up uh, and the, uh, and it gives me triple bananas, which can be easily threaded through by a damn red shell. Lightning! Yay! Now I can't trick off the dang thingy. Very precious to be lost because of that timing of that crap. Oh, come on. Okay, sound horn. Hold on to the banana peel this time. I don't want to get it booed away. I don't think so. Not this time. Okay, other villager Link, Bowser Jr., Mario, Ludwig, Baby Mario, Roy, Toda, Iggy, Yoshi, Lakitu. Boo Lake. Because this has never been brought back prior to this game, not even in tour. The time I'm recording this, anyway. Now, unless they recently, very recently added it at the time I'm recording this. And this was only ever a Super Circuit. And Super Circuit didn't have a mirror mode. This is my first time ever playing this score as a mirror mode. Not that that's going to be any sort of significant difficulty, but still, it is a thing that is the case. Frick. I'll only take in the cut because I had a banana peel and I swapped up. Man, the color looks so much better 
in this horse with the water and everything now that I've actually got better color, the color setting in my again I swear the settings are the same as they were previously but for some reason the colors are different and much better and the brightness is much better. Son of a crap. Come on, stupid freaking lightning when I had a mushroom. Chain reaction. Man, I freaking love Boo Lake. Such a good horse. Hey, get out, douche. Hunt three three way tie for four. Thank you, baby Mario and Link. I'm sure three way ties happen with the CPUs and see them a lot more than anyone usually ever freaking uh, pays attention to. Up, oh, I almost hit the A button. Glad I'm being able to frickin' use all the frickin' Boost Cards Bath TLC to be able to show off using every single character, including all the color, all variations in the game, off in Grand Prix, not just through other modes of the game as well, such so as Time Trials and Battle Mode. But every single character, in addition to some other things, not all characters for everything, but at least I'm showing off every single character, including all alts and color variations off in Grand Prix because of Slash Link's 2G Booster Horse Pad DLC. But my thing I was getting on about that is I'm glad I was able to use that for all I'm able to use this for all that. But at the same time it's nice to be able to use other characters, the Inklings, Villagers, and Links that are not Yoshis and Shy Guys that I use for the majority of the first two ways of DLC. Way four, I'll be starting to go slash going to use the characters that are exclusively in the deluxe version that were not in the Wii U version. And I'll probably be using all those characters at least two or three times because every single wave there is the screw the frick off, Boss doing you, you douchebag. Every single wave there is two cups. And I do all five part classes, 50, 100, 150 mirror mode, 200 CC, so that's 10 characters, 10 cups and 10 characters per five cups, five times, but two, no, two cups, five times each is 10 sets of cups, so 10 characters per wave of DLC. I'll be using all the characters that are exclusively in the deluxe version at least two times, other than probably not all the inkling variations. Emil Villager, you need to get the frick out. Give me a red shell, please. That is not your red shell, that is a freaking coin. Okay, good. Blue brain. Help. Slow him down for two seconds because the frickin' damn booster will frickin' Stupid damn male villager making me have to start this cup over when I'm more than halfway through it. I lose to him again on beating him up in Smash Ultimate before I frickin' end this off. Stupid ball crap. 
bringing my perfect streak of Wave 3 DLC car class, or car cups rather, not car class, to a freaking end. But more importantly, making me waste time when I already spent so much of the time in this video freaking blathering. Stupid damn male villager. However, I might have won if there was one other thing that had been different about the race. Boss Jr. had backwards sent me with that damn green shell. Boss Jr. plays a role in it. Also, however, it also didn't help that the game instead of giving me a rush, it gave me a stupid coin item in second place. I don't mind the coin items, but it doesn't help when I'm in second place. Oh, hey, you need an item to be able to freaking help win you the game? Here's a coin! <laughs> yes, I just blew a raspberry. Stupid damn blue shell. Stupid damn blooper rank. Other villager, baby Luigi, Luigi, Amy, boy, Don, Don, King, Boo, baby Daisy, Jinky Mario, baby Rosalina, Cat Peach, Dry Bones. Almost said Bowser, but corrected myself. Actually, get the freaking frowning here for like two seconds, or frowning beat, whatever.
I did not do that, Google Chrome, you lying sack of freaking crap. Also, I let the intro play out when I should have seen a bit of me. Tell me the boo I am or lightning. Or red shell. What the? That still gave me the freaking glider. That was dumb. Or that, that, that's kind of dumb, I think. I think, I think that's dumb. Uh, anyway. Looper down effect, yay. Yay, fail. Not again, douche. Have a bomb. Enjoy the blue shell. Thanks for passing me up. Actually, keep the coin item. Defensive measure. But I like to get a different item that's not the coin item. Yes, but in case the blue shell comes, I'd rather hang on to this in case the ghost wants to try and stake, take the frickin' sound horn from me. Trying to play a little bit strategically here in a way I normally never, or I never would have thought of if not for that previous other race. Oh, come on! Frickin' lightning! That lightning's gonna make me freaking lose the damn race. Especially if the game gives me a stupid coin. Good. Okay, hands off again for the Maple Tree Way intro. You think about Mario Kart Wii just because this is a Wii track, you freaking baby Ouija. Freaking baby Luigi. I am so glad that didn't hit me. And that.
Damn it, missed the item box. Friggin' lightning. Come on, really? I saw as though that's specifically the lightning that still does to keep blue shells, I want to say. I want to say that it still does to keep blue shells. Nah, I think if it does, it keep, still does to keep blue shells from those. Getting you two for on those jumps between the blue shells and souls and the peaches. Oh, come on, freaking mushroom is scary. No, it's just a damn coin item, and I run over it. Come on, I swear. Give me a freaking red shell. Thank you. Oh crap, he's got a freaking sound horn. Good. I did rock rock mountain. Give me something besides rock rock mountain game. Game. Read my middle finger. That's three times now. It's giving me rock rock mountain. Stupid ball crap. Read my metal double middle fingers game. That's RC9. I just realized I technically have one more opportunity. Because I have to do 150cc for World Cups off screen for my 100% playthrough file. Anyway, guys, that, like, uh, again, apologies for not showing that up, but I hate when the game does that. Camera, I'm gonna see. I wanna try and remember what course did it do that to me with a freaking. Wave 2, where it gave me the same thing freaking all three times. Oh, wait, no, it's not all three, but still. I don't know if I have any with Trigo. Wait. No, it would have been four. I don't know. Let me see. I did do 150cc video, right? Yes. Well, regardless, anyway, guys, that's it. That's it for this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Apologies on the length, and I'll see you guys next time. More, let's play Marketed Deluxe. Bye, everybody.